Is law of attraction not working for you? Is your manifestation not working? Are you having trouble getting what you want? Let me tell you why. Let me tell you everything wrong that you're doing. And let me give you solutions to it. Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel. In this video, I'm gonna be speaking about why your manifestation isn't working. Now I know for newbies especially, when we don't get something that we've been focusing on, we feel sad. And also feel like, is it even working? Like maybe it's all just a joke. Maybe it's not even real. And I know a lot of those things just go around in your mind. But those aren't the reasons. And let me tell you what the actual reason is. Or reasons. Yeah, that's better. Reasons. Without talking more, let's get right into the video. As I always say before we get right into the video, make sure you follow me on Instagram, TikTok, and Twitter. Also, do not forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel and hit the bell button. Also, you guys, I do have a special guest in this video, and this video is actually in collaboration with Re. Now, I know you must be wondering, who is that? Well, if you don't know already, let's ask her. Hello, Re. Would you like to tell us who are you and what do you do? I'm a certified law of attraction coach. I've been a professional tarot reader for more than 20 years. And I'm also a cer certified yoga instructor and a certified Reiki master, which is all about energy healing. And also do not forget to follow Re on her social media accounts. Here are her social media accounts. Now that you guys know who Re is, let's get right into the video. Number one reason, you are not being specific enough. You could ask the universe, I want to be rich. But what is the definition of rich to you? Is it finding $20 in your bag or somewhere in your pocket? Or is it winning a $10 million lottery somewhere? So you need to be very specific when you're asking the universe for something. You want money. How much money do you want? How are you going to receive this money? How are you going to feel when you receive this money? And what are the ways that you can receive this money? The second reason is not letting go. This is actually called desperate energy. Now, this is like a resistance between the universe and you when you're obsessing over it and when you have limited belief. Let me give you an example. You order something from Amazon. Do you wait outside your house waiting for the package to come? Do you call Amazon 24 seven asking, hey, where's my package? Did the order even go in? Is it even coming? Hey, where is it? No. No, we don't do that. I hope you don't do that. That's because you know that the package is gonna come to you. You believe that. So there's no desperate energy between you and your Amazon package. And that's the same energy you need to have when you're trying to manifest something. You shouldn't be obsessing over what you're manifesting. Number three, your energy isn't matching. When I say this, I mean you are not aligned in order to receive your manifestation. For example, if you are trying to grow a very healthy, beautiful, whatever plant in a very bad soil, is it gonna work? No, it's not. And that's the same thing with you. This is where energy clearing comes into place. You need to clear your energy. And you must be wondering, why is energy clearing really important? Let's ask Ri. Ri, so would you like to tell me what is energy clearing? Why energy clearing is very important when we are trying to attract our best lives? Absolutely. So. We are made up of energy. Everything around us is made up of energy. And we have energy blocks in our energetic system, which is comprised of our chakras, which are energy centers in the body that are very powerful. And our auras can have energetic blocks that we are not even aware of. And those blocks prevent good things from coming into our lives. So a lot of times when people, people struggle with creating their best lives and things don't happen, they don't flow and they're really trying to make things happen but nothing is happening. And when people feel stuck around this, it's because they have energetic blocks and without knowing how to clear them, they can stay with you forever. So it's really useful to know how to clear these blocks not only to create a life that for you is the best life, but to bring even better things in that you're not even aware of. It's so easy to fall into the trap of thinking we want certain things, but a lot of times when people do this work, they discover that there's actually an even greater life that's like beyond what they could imagine and things just start to happen. It is so incredibly transformative. When people start doing energy work, everything flows the relationships go well 
they get the job of their dreams and it's not something that they are consciously doing that's the beautiful part about it is it's not like people are struggling to create this it just starts happening naturally because they're clearing and creating space for things that have wanted to come into their lives forever that they haven't made any room for so then all of a sudden everything just starts to kind of work out and it's just because they were doing these practices that cleared the energy so it's it's amazing and it's really to me kind of what's missing in a lot of law of attraction techniques and stuff the techniques would work great if we had the clear energy to allow it all to come in. So, yeah. Oh, you guys, also, just in case you're having trouble with clearing your energy, Re also does have an energy clearing course. Re, would you like to tell us a little about your energy clearing course? It's all about, it's an eight week course, and I take people through all of these different practices to get the chakras, which if your audience doesn't know what chakras are, they're just, they're different vortexes of the energy that are really powerful in our bodies. And when we can get those in alignment, everything just flows. Like I was just talking about, things come into our lives and we become our highest selves, which is even more exciting than creating stuff in our lives. And the course takes you step by step through different practices to do that, to keep these energy centers clear. And not only to keep them clear, but also to work with energy to create, to like visualize in a way that's much more powerful and to pray in a scientific way that brings stuff in. It's an eight week course that is on Zoom, so it's live. And there's a self-paced part of it that people can follow along with and they'll have that forever and I'll be updating it. So it's it's both like a daily practice that they can do on their own through the self-paced course and what I'll be guiding them through in the Zoom classes. So yeah, super, super exciting stuff. Also, could you tell me what can students expect from this course? The main thing really is to get to the core of what the issues are that they didn't even really know were there. So a lot of times people will have blockages in certain energy centers that they they don't even know. They may have a sense that there's something there, there's some reason that they can't create something good, they can't create a relationship, for example. and the energy course will help them to get to the root of that and release it permanently. Like it won't come back. So they'll be cutting cords with people and what they can expect is transformation. From beginning to end, the whole course is about becoming the person that has these things in their lives. So they just alignment, they align with whatever it is that they want to create. And actually, a lot of times what I discover with students is they get clear about what they truly want. They don't even know what they want coming in or they think they know. And then suddenly it's their life is taking a different direction because they get really clear that that was something I thought I wanted. And that's not truly what is authentic for my soul. So they definitely align more with spirit. And, and spirit is like their authentic self. So they start living an authentic life. And I've had people come to the energy courses, you know, just totally depressed and having a lot of anxiety and, and coming out of it feeling empowered and a, like almost a, a new radiance about them. So really it's, it's about personal transformation. That's what they can expect. Yeah. Number four right manifestation but wrong time for example you are trying to manifest a new apartment the universe is not giving this to you the universe is actually trying to stop you from this and reasons can be maybe you will lose your job next month and you will not be able to afford this apartment or this apartment is just isn't for you the universe knows the best so the universe is always trying to prevent bad things from happening to you so the universe is not letting this manifestation come true it's just not the right time for it Either it's not the right time or something better is coming for you. Which takes me to my next point. Something better is coming for you. Now I know some of us are just so impatient. We don't want something better. We want this particular thing. 
I know a lot of people try to manifest an ex-lover. Just know that the universe always knows the best. This person isn't for you. Maybe this person is gonna come into your life, ruin your mental health and hurt you and leave you. And that's probably why the universe is not giving you this person. That's why I always say do not try to manifest a toxic ex or any ex back. If it's meant to be, it will be. Instead of trying to manifest an ex or a particular person, you can try to manifest a person and the characteristics you want in a person or the personality or the type of things you want in a person. So yeah, those are probably one of the reasons your manifestation isn't working. Huge thanks to Ree for being in this video. I do have one last thing to ask Ree. Ree, so you are a tired reader. How long have you been doing that for? I've been doing that professionally since I was 17, so over 20 years now. Does tarot reading have anything to do with energy clearing? Tarot has a lot to do with energy clearing because it gives you kind of a snapshot of where you are at energetically so you can adjust. So if I see something in the cards that tell me that the person is headed toward loneliness or any kind of self-destructive pattern then we can look at what can clear that what can we do and i actually also do energy clearings right in a reading so if things are not so great in a reading i don't ever leave people there i like to do healings and clearings right at the end of the reading so yeah it has a lot to do with it they work together very well also you guys read does have a special package just for our little family forever. So you know what? Let's hear her out. I'd also like to offer 20% off of everything in my store on my website to all of your viewers. They can use the coupon code upgrade to uplift 20 and that will be forever. They'll get 20% off of everything in my store for the rest of my life. And also do not forget to follow Ri on her social media accounts. Here are her social media accounts. So yeah guys, that's it for this video. I hope you guys found this video helpful. I will see you guys in my next video. Bye-bye.